What's up YouTube? Agent Zero here and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the Positive Outlook and the Null Calamity 9. Two energy auto rifles in Destiny 2. First we'll go over some of the stats, then we'll get into some gameplay and I'll give you what I think about these two guns. So first, the stats. The impact and range are better on the positive outlook, while the stability, handling, reload speed, rounds per minute, and magazine size are greater on the Null Calamity. Now keep in mind that both of these guns are set up with max stability. The two hidden stats that I'd like to talk about are inventory size and aim assistance. The inventory size is how much extra ammunition can be held. The positive outlook has a slightly higher inventory size. The aim assistance is the magnetic force that draws the gun to the enemy. The aim assistance stat is higher on the Null Calamity 9. Now it's time to talk about the main perks of each of these guns. The Null Calamity 9 has Zen Moment. Causing damage with this weapon increases its stability. This is a very good perk, especially on a 600 round per minute auto rifle. The positive outlook has kill clip. Reloading after a kill grants increased damage. Definitely an amazing perk, especially when facing hordes of enemies. It's also worth noting that the positive outlook has armor piercing rounds, which does extra damage against shields and over penetrates targets. Now it's time to get into the subjective part of the comparison where I give you my opinion on each of these weapons and which one I prefer and why. Let's first talk about PvE. Both of these guns definitely are great for PvE and both have their place. Null Calamity has an amazing perk especially for attacking more powerful enemies, as the longer you hit your shots, the more accurate the weapon is going to be, which makes it easier to get those precision hits. The Positive Outlook also has a fantastic perk for PvE in Kill Clip. Being able to do extra damage to enemies, especially when hordes of adds are breathing down your neck is absolutely fantastic. Overall, each of these guns has a place in PvE. However, I'm giving my edge in PvE to the positive outlook. Now it's time to talk about PvP. Again, both of these guns have a place in PvP and could depend on your playstyle as to which one you like more. However, because of the archetypes of the guns, even though the Null Calamity appears to have better stability when we looked at the stats, the faster fire rate actually makes it feel less stable than the positive outlook. The initial instability is definitely not welcome when it comes to PvP, as the first shot can make or break your gun battle when you're facing an opponent in the arena. So for that reason, I'm giving my edge to the positive outlook. Overall, I'm giving my edge to the positive outlook. If I had to pick one of these guns, it's going to the positive outlook. While I think the Null Calamity is great gun and should definitely be held onto, the positive outlook just has a great perk with great stats to boot and a good archetype. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Destiny 2 content. Well, until next time, peace!